Oh, it's raining. And we got a couple of popo over there. Clark Cape to Kale there, two sedans. But for some reason, usually they're going to park head to tail. They're going to have the one facing in, facing head. It's going to be on the right, they're closer to us. And the one facing tail would be farther from us. So that the two driver's windows could meet and they could talk to each other. But instead, they're parked in such a way that the nearer one can keep an eye on me and take my photo out of their driver's window. And the farther one probably can't even see me and has to talk across the car from the driver's seat to talk to the one in the driver's seat of the other one. They actually talk across the width of both cars. But maybe he's trying to keep an eye on Starbucks. Okay, they're starting the same crap again that I've got five videos up about. They just soaked me with the sprinklers. Here you see a superior landscaping employee. Now this is Friday. They don't normally test the sprinklers on Fridays. There's a superior employee walking away from the control box. Cop's still sitting up there. There's a superior van. And as soon as I lay down, that superior van pulled up on the other side of the seawall over there but exactly opposite where the cop was. The guy got out, he walked over to the cop car, and he talked to the cops. Then he took the van over here, he got out, he walked right past me when I was laying there under that tree, and directly over to the sprinkler controls, and turned the sprinklers on me. Now by the time I got the camera booted, he shut that section, and turned on that section, and started walking down the street. So he obviously sprinklered me just for the heck of it because he didn't test anything. He didn't observe whether that sprinkler was right or not. He turned on three sections at once. And as soon as I got up, before I even booted the camera, oh, there's that cop car with no license tag. That other one that I got in the park a couple of weeks ago parked down there. You see, this is the same unmarked police car that I caught the officer working in no license tag on it about three weeks ago I don't know if they put a tag on it yet well all the sprinklers are now off so he's gonna have to walk back up this way to get to his van and he's gonna go drive it two blocks down to the next control box if he's truly testing the sprinklers and hasn't been called out on a special assignment to soak me comes now. Walking back down there. I'm, uh, he turned the sprinklers back on in that section, which is the next one to the south of me. And he went back to the truck. So I guess he's going to leave that one on. I don't know. And if it's on the test, it'll time out. But there's definitely a problem with two of them shooting onto the, to the beach walk, as you can see over there. I don't know if he's going to go through something. But you can see that spot over there in the middle of the beach walk. This is not a shadow. And there is in direct sunlight. That's a puddle created by the sprinkler shooting the wrong way at the beach walk instead of at the lawn. Because as you can see, they're placed at the edge of the lawn. See that cop's still down there. That are, the other car that was with him was an SUV as well. It was a lieutenant or a captain. The vehicle number was 20007. And he pulled out and he went by me. Down this way. Drove down to Beach Walk with his blue lights flashing. Went down to 12th Street and then pulled back out into Ocean Drive and went south. Now there's absolutely no reason he couldn't have just backed up 20 feet from where he was sitting over there into Ocean Drive or gone 15 feet north of where he is, north being on the far side of the car from us. 
through the next pathway that connects the sidewalk and the beach walk, the one that runs in front of Starbucks, and use the curb cut there to get down if he didn't want to jump the curb. Or he could have used this pathway right where I am to get back to Ocean, but that pathway is 30 feet from me. Okay, I'm right here next to the beach walk. So he came down the beach walk for an extra block to check me out and only to check me out. Now, if you see those flashes, the phone got wet when the sprinkler guy turned them on me. And now it started flashing like that. Does it when I'm aiming and not shooting as well. In the meantime, the unmarked without the license plate is still down there. Flashing seems to get worse when I zoom. Great. No, it's not because I zoomed, because I unzoomed and it's still doing it. It's just getting worse and more I lose the camera. So I think I'm going to have to turn the camera off. In the meantime, here is Sprinkler Guy. He went back to the truck and now he's headed back down that way. I guess I'm going to have to shut the boat off, try to dry it out. But anyway, the sprinkler guy's back into bed. Since I guess okay, cop's still down there. Sprinkler guy is back in the van, sitting in there with the lights on and the AC running and the motor running, doing paperwork. Unmarked police vehicle with no tag is still down there. And now there's an ambulance down there too, with the lights flashing. I'm going to have to shut the phone down and cool it off so that uh, you see if I can get rid of this flashing. And, uh, Hopefully I'll be able to get back to sleep. Okay, it is now 5.15 p.m. That same cop car has been parked over there without moving since 10 o'clock, or a little before 10 o'clock this morning. So evidently he's working security for somebody. I'll get the number on my way out if he doesn't leave first. I'm now at Starbucks, so you're viewing the car from the other side, but he hasn't moved. It's now 11 minutes after 6. He's now been there more than 8 hours straight, sitting there with his Air conditioning going, his lights on, his engine running, in the car. And he hasn't gotten out of the car that I've seen for the entire eight hours. So he's obviously working security for somebody. He's supposed to be guarding someone who's inside one of the hotels over there. Now... Here comes a mule with a cop in it. Rides by the other car, but doesn't stop to say anything to the cop in the other car. And now he continues south down the lawn in the park. Okay, now that cop and the mule just drove in a circle. He went down the lawn as far as the bathroom, circle the bathroom, pulled back out into Ocean Drive and is now coming back up this way. Now he went up to the driver's window of the car and he's actually talking to the cop in the car. You can see his lights flashing behind it. Now I think he's, uh, no, he's, he's still there talking to him. You see the reflection of his lights on a tree.
to the left. I don't know, I've been having this flashing problem since it got wet. It doesn't seem to be affecting anything else. The whole rest of the phone's working perfectly. But the camera app gets these periodic flashes. And it's not the, the flashlight going off. It's just the screen. It's losing the uh, f-stop setting for a second and then regaining. So I think I'm going to have to uninstall and reinstall the app, which means it's going to take me an hour and a half to set it back up again, get all the settings right, because there's so many hundreds of them. <sighs> okay, so the mule now pulled around and parked over here closer to me. And the two cops that were in it got out and started walking down Ocean Drive. And in the meantime, that other one, it's going on nine hours now that he's been parked there, sitting in the car, engine running, lights on. Well, not headlights, but the top light there you see flashing. Okay, the cops are coming back to their mule now. Getting in it. It's now 7.40 p.m. And it started raining. So I'm gonna have to leave Starbucks. But this guy's been there nine hours and, well, let's see, 10.15 to 7.40. Nine hours and 25 minutes. Still sitting in the car, engine running, lights on top on. He's obviously watching a hotel across the street for somebody he's supposed to be guarding. Uh, personal security detail for some VIP or something. So I'm going to go walking by as soon as the rain lets up and I'll get his number if he's still there. Rain let up some. I'm taking off. That's a sanitation mule over there. But we got another cop over there next to the one that's been there for hours. Let's see if we can get a number here. It's too shaky on that soon. The new arrival is 3005. And the one who's been here for hours, it's kind of far away for me to read it with the naked eye. I zoom it all the way in, see if we can get it adequately focused to read it. 1807. Okay, it's 8 o'clock, 757. And it's been there since 1015 in the morning. Hasn't gotten out of the car for one second. I don't know, here we are at 14th and Collins. Looks like they're expecting some major kind of crowds this weekend or something or maybe just tonight I don't know but they've got cops at every intersection up and down Collins here this is the school's police this is the school's police they're here directing traffic I don't know what the occasion is all right, I think I may have it figured out. At least I got the camera half straightened out so it's not flashing anymore. Looks like the phone dried sufficiently. But uh, they have that Rolling Loud Hip Hop Festival going on at the football stadium this weekend. Tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday. And I think a lot of the people in town to attend it are staying on, in the beach hotels and so they've got uh this is the time when the traffic would be commuting up to the stadium and that's why they've got the cops directing the traffic up and down collins avenue but that's just a guess all right that's it for this one remember to like share subscribe hit that bell notification leave a comment in the comment section to help the algorithm and i'm out see you on the next one